find this new game called Math Locker. Oh, shall we do a review? Yeah, let's Can do we that. come closer? Everyone, this is my co-worker Michael. Hi there. We'll be doing reviews as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, Laura. Um, basically, I'm not that impressed by this game. Oh, I know. And I'll show you why. Okay, firstly, the graphics. I find these blocks quite hard to see, and if I'm trying to get them into all these into all these little gaps here, yeah. I'm finding it really quite difficult. Okay, there, I've just about managed it. But I find it's a bit, it's a little bit fiddly, and I don't think that's great for a Tetris game. No. Um, and also, the background, while it's okay, you can't change it, and if I show you the main menu screen, at some point, oh. Okay, I'm having problems here with the menu. Okay, so it's very glitchy because now it's stuck. It does seem to be stuck. Ah. Oh, there we go. Okay, we should be back. There we go. The menu screen also, it looks okay, but the lack of options really does annoy me here. And um, so there's only three difficulty levels and that is that is all the game is. There's a ranking for yourself, there's no, no achievements. Um, Overall, I'm not too impressed by it. Um, I'll show you hard mode, for that's probably the only thing that's slightly fun about this in that there's a sense of um, uh, anxiety in this and you have to really sort of go quickly. But how do you find the controls? I find them myself. I find them a bit too fiddly and I can't what? to um, change. You can change the Oh, okay, yeah, the, that's uh, what I just wanted color. to ask, how you, can, how you can change it, if you mm -hmm. can change the order. Mm -hmm. And you need to have four blocks in a row and then... Uh, three blocks in a row, three yes, correct. Row. And then, um, but I find in hard mode, it's by the time you've done that, the uh, blocks have already fallen. So yeah. I think the game is flawed a bit in the, in the uh, gameplay. Do you think fiction. it would be easier if you would play it on a bigger screen? Possibly, yeah. I think that would definitely help. Uh, if you do have a phone with a small screen, I definitely wouldn't recommend this game. I think mm. it's just a bit too difficult, to be honest. Um, but would you recommend it to someone with a bigger screen, or do you say, you know, done Probably not, else? no. If you want a Tetris game, I would look elsewhere. I think mm. this is, um, it just hasn't got enough on it. It's really not yeah. worth paying anything yeah. for. Um, so, yeah, ranking system is really yeah. not very good. Um, also, uh, if you don't look at help beforehand, I think you're really going to struggle. It took me a while to work out how to move the different blocks around yeah. to move the blocks across. Okay. So um, definitely worth it. Also, I didn't know you could press this guy to slam the uh, the fluzzles down. Oh, so, okay. Um, and what do you think of the music? Music, I find a bit annoying. You can, however change the music there are different tracks to try out oh, so yeah, okay. I find that okay I think that's possibly the best thing about this game really um, the music however does get on your nerves a little bit so I would in my opinion just be pressing that and Mute muting it, it. Yeah. but yeah um, but yeah overall I would say definitely not worth the download um, look elsewhere there are better Tetris and Android games out there so that will be all that will be all. That's what Michael says. Thank you. For See you again. Bye. Bye.